In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create Windows installation media on a USB stick so that you can get Windows on your brand new just built PC. Howdy, my name is Timmy here with Sirius Power PC. And before we get too far into this video, if you wouldn't mind going ahead and leaving a like, that would show your support for the videos and get more of our videos in your algorithm, as well as subscribing with the bell on because we're over 35,000 strong and we're just continuing to grow more and more every single day. Also, we're going to have a really, really exciting and super special new video coming soon where we're basically going to be going over a complete PC build as well as posting a video soon, which is just a time lapse of our PC build. So be sure to subscribe for that because I assure you, you won't want to miss that. So the first thing you're going to need to do this is an internet connection and a USB stick to plug into your computer or laptop or whatever it may be. So go ahead and take your USB and plug it into your current computer. And we saw it pop up there, that's perfect. And then we're going to come to this USB stick and there is nothing on it. Now, Windows recommends you have around 15 to 16 gigabytes of free space. Personally, I like to use a 32 gigabyte USB stick just because that's easiest and it hasn't run into issues for me. I've asked a couple different people and they also recommended that 32 gigs is better than getting a 16 gigabyte uh, USB. So go ahead and get a 32 gigabyte USB and follow along with me. Go to Google or whatever you search things on and look for Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. And when you search up Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, we are going to go ahead and click on this first link to create installation media for Windows. So what we're gonna do, you can install Windows 11, but the way we do it here at Sirius Power PC is we install Windows 10 and then we offer you the option to upgrade to Windows 11. So that, for this example, we're going to do that. We're gonna click on Windows 10 and that'll bring us to the media creation tool page. I'll also leave this linked in the description down below. In addition, to that, if you're looking for more resources on what to do after you build your PC, we actually just made a video last week going over how to update your BIOS and what your first steps should be do after building your PC. Because today, we're just going to cover getting the USB stick ready so that you can then follow the steps in that video. So I will leave that linked in the description and also in the top right hand of the screen right now. So what we want is the Create Windows 10 Installation Media, which is right here. So we're going to click download now. That'll start a downloader, which is an exe file. So we're going to go ahead and open that. We do want to allow this app to make changes to our device. So we're going to hit yes. So now we let it get a few things ready. We'll go ahead and definitely read the entire license terms. Cool. I've read it. So once you get to this screen, what we want to do, which is what it's asking here, is we do not want to upgrade this PC now. We want to create installation media for another PC. So we're going to make sure that that's selected and hit next. Then we're going to have the install language as English, edition, Windows 10, architecture, 64-bit, use the, room, the recommended options as well, and we'll hit next. Choose which media to use, USB flash drive. It says here it needs to be at least eight gigabytes. Uh, yet again, I would recommend having a 32 gigabyte flash drive. They aren't super expensive. In fact, I'll leave a link to one that I recommend from Amazon in the description down below. Select USB flash drive. If it's not showing up here, try unplugging it and plugging it back in, then clicking refresh drive list, but it should pop up here. So we'll hit next once that's selected. And now it is downloading Windows 10. So this is the perfect time for you to go get a snack or go do something while this installs onto your USB. This is creating the Windows 10 media installation tool so that you can basically just plug this USB right into your computer after updating the BIOS, of course, and Windows 10 will immediately start installing. So we're gonna let this cook and we'll come back here in a little bit. All right, so once you see the screen, your USB flash drive is ready. You can click finish right here and the setup will clean up before it closes. Then if you go back to your file explorer, 
you will see all of these files here. Don't open any of these. Just let them sit. Pop your USB stick out of your computer and you have Windows 10 installation media made. So now you can take this USB, plug it into your computer, and you should be greeted with the Windows boot up screen. If you aren't, there could be an issue. You can always reach out to us at SeriousPowerPC.com with our chat feature or by commenting on this video and we will try to reach out to you and help as much as we possibly can. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. Also, consider subscribing yet again to join the 35,000 plus that we are at Serious Power PC on YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions, yet again, you can reach out at SeriousPowerPC.com and check out our affiliate program. I'll leave a link to that video at the end screen but also on the top right hand of the screen right now that way if you want to learn some more information about how you could potentially win a free pc then go ahead and check out that video there also on the end screen i will leave the video to where you can see what your next step should be after you build your pc once you have this windows 10 installation media how you can get all that installed and i'll walk you exactly through how i got it installed so thank you all so so much for watching my name is timmy here with serious power pc and tune in next week for a brand new video